Hello, my name is Guillaume, I'm an analyst with ID TechX and today we are at the ID TechX show in Berlin. Um, I'm here with technology. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about what you do, what you're doing and some of the demos you have on the stand? Of course I can, thank you very much. My name is Paul Leggington, I'm the CEO of Technology. Uh, we have developed a new thermoelectric material which has many advantages over the materials available today. It is available in large quantities and it is very cheap. Today we are showing a high temperature solution, currently running at uh, 300 degrees centigrade. This can produce energy from watts to kilowatts. Applications include vehicles, heavy industry, shipping, anywhere where there's a large amount of heat. The other thing we are showing today is a low temperature device, this one here. This operates in the microwatt to milliwatt area and we're using it today to power a wireless sensor. This sensor is sitting on a domestic radiator at around about 45 to 50 degrees centigrade. It is producing enough power to send signals over to that display. It sends three temperatures approximately every three seconds. All right. So wirelessly you're beaming the data from yes. that sensor to that display. Yes, indeed. Without in using any electricity. It the electricity is provided in the device. So this is the thermoelectric module. This is the temperature on the heater. This is the temperature on the cooling fin. And this is the temperature in the room. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what about this? This is another module. This is one of our earlier high temperature devices. This will again operate at 300 degrees centigrade and produce around about five watts. Okay, so thermoelectric has been around for quite some time as yes, a technology. It has. So, what uh, are you bringing to the to the to the market? Traditional thermoelectrics use a material called bismuth telluride. It's a very good material, but it's very scarce. Tellurium is rarer than the rarest rare earth metal. There is approximately 400 tons per year of tellurium produced right. globally, and that is not not enough to do a volume production. We use a different material. We use, for example, zinc, magnesium, yes. and these are available in huge quantities. So we are able to meet the volume need. This has not been possible before. So if we're talking about Internet of Things, wireless sensors, we need more volume, yes. and uh, therefore you can provide yes. that kind of volume. We meet a lot of people that have tried with bismuth, bismuth telluride modules. But they find that when they want to go into production, the price is too high mm -hmm. and they cannot get the volume. Mm -hmm. We can solve that. Okay. Very good. Thank so you. thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you for your time.